Dude, don't put your mouth on the seat. That's disgusting. We got a drink from that. Hey guys, welcome to Hair Hacks with Princess Potty Mouth. <laughs> Me! <laughs> Today, I'm going to be doing a hair hack for you. <coughs> well, there you have it, folks. Tune in next week for how to deal with vacuums. And this is Princess Potty Mouth saying me out. For all you monsters out there, here's a helpful tip. Nobody likes spoiled children, so be sure to use airtight Tupperware containers when storing leftovers. <laughs> That's disgusting. Oh, sorry. Cover your mouth next time you sneeze, you filthy animal. Whoa, that dude is sick. <laughs> yeah, he should really see a doctor. Oh, waiter. Yes, sir? Could you freshen up my drink, please? Of course, sir. Why, thank you, sir. Welcome to the Dog Food Network with Sammy Suckerbunch, where we show you how to prepare delicious new recipes for pet canines everywhere. For a nutritious yet tasty dinner idea, pour some dog food into a bowl and serve. Done. This recipe can be used seven days a week, 365 days a year. As a bonus recipe, here's how to prepare a refreshing dog beverage. Put water into a bowl from a faucet and serve at room temperature. Voila! Click below for a link to the written recipe. If you feel you are lacking in variety, here are some alternative meals to consider. Eating grass. Eating your own poo. Eating another dog's poo. Eating your own vomit followed by licking your butt and then your owner's face and mouth. And my favorite alternative food, the neighbor's cat, prepared with this handy dandy food preparation device. Wow, the target is killed and cooked in one easy step. What a convenient and time-saving device. Click the link in the description below for your own cat rocket propelled grenade launcher. Promo code I love cats they taste like chicken. Next time, we'll teach you how to turn a car flattened jackrabbit into a stinky chewy snack you can enjoy in your owner's closet for weeks. Live in the feisty life. Oh, chef! Yes? You ruined my meal. This burger is way too dry. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Try it now. Better? Look, Dad, I made this mug for you. What? Dad's number two? Then who's number one? Oh, no. The mug has your number two in it. Oh, thanks. Dad, I don't want to ferry up my butt. What? Where'd you get that idea? I swallowed my loose tooth, but Sammy said that won't stop the tooth fairy. What? Sammy! Is there anything else you need, Doctor? Yes, we're gonna need a urine sample, so just take this fire hydrant into the next room, please. No problem, Doctor. <laughs> Hey Glitter Queens, welcome back to my seventh channel, DIY with Glenda. <laughs> DIY with Glenda! Wink! Do you itch all the time? Uh-huh. Do you have constant diarrhea? Uh-huh. That's kind of disgusting. Like, ew. You should get that checked out. That cloud looks like a bunny. That cloud looks like a fat cow. Who are you calling a fat cow? 
Hey Frank, did you see me just pee on that guy? Tinkle, tinkle in a jar If the toilet is too far If you put it by the sink They might mistake it for a drink Or pour it by that stupid cat Our owner will blame her for that I hope you remember this Right before you take a nap. Hey, Vicky. What? I'm kind of busy here. Do you have any trouble with poop sticking to your fur? No, not really. Hmm, that's good. Hey, Penny. Bird. Mind if I have a sniff? What, what the heck is this? Oh, I, um, updated my privacy settings. Hey, Dad. Yes, son? I pooped all by myself. That's great, champ. Wait, where? <laughs> where did you poop? Marry me and make me the happiest I've been in three and a half weeks. What? What happened three and a half weeks ago? Oh, I took the most satisfying dump on the neighbor's lawn. <laughs>